I don't mind my crushed ass shirt. Okay, chill. Hey beauties, it's your girl Jessica Nicole, and today I will be giving you guys a story time. So, as you guys can see from the title, this is a story about the time that a customer, who wasn't my customer, threatened to not only kill me, but my family too. Mad salty. Anywho, unfortunately, there is a backstory to this story because mad bullshit. I'm going to try to make the backstory short. In cut this story down short as well because honestly if I tell every single detail in the story this story will be damn near hour long okay? okay so let's start with the backstory this young lady came to my job we're gonna name her hazel now she showed up at my job and she showed up with a couple of her friends now hazel is not of age to drink what makes it even worse about hazel is that she is related to my boss's assistant so she's not related to my boss, she's related to my boss's assistant. And she also used to work for my boss, um, for my boss's catering company. So, she came to my job with a group of her friends. And mind you, she is not old enough to drink. And guys, I work at a bar. So she showed up at my job thinking that because she's related to my boss's assistant, she was going to get drinks regardless of whatever. And wrong. So she showed up to my job asking for drinks. And of course, we have to ask for ID. So when we ask for ID, well, mind you, I was not working. So my coworker, well, my coworker, we're gonna call her Fatty because she got fat. So when um Fatty asked her for ID, asked them for ID, only two out of the four people showed ID. Now this is a story I was told, okay? Only two out of the four people showed ID. So what we usually do is when only two out of the four people show ID, we let them know they gotta go to a table. We are only serving two people. If we catch anyone out of, other than the two people that have ID drinking, everybody gotta go, okay? Not the two, the whole four. Okay, all y'all got to go. So, that's what we told them. So, they sat at the table and they were being served by another co-worker that works with us and he told them the same thing. Anybody that's caught drinking other than the two that has ID, you are not, you are all getting kicked out. So they ordered food. Now, no one's paying attention to them that much, but when Fatty looks up, she realized that Hazel is drinking out of one of the people's cup. Fatty told them all, all right, I told y'all before, y'all don't wanna listen, y'all gotta go. Now, they ordered food and everything. The picture's basically almost done. So when she said y'all gotta go, she told my coworker, go get their check and bring it to them. When she went to go get their check, when he went to go get their check and drop it off, they told him that they're not paying for the check. And they walked out of the restaurant. Now, this boy is so dumb that he was just standing there like a fucking idiot talking about he doesn't know what to do. So Hazel goes outside, follows her, basically tells her she has to pay the bill, and an altercation ends up happening where they're about to fight. One of the girls start yelling out that she knows my boss. Yada, 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 yada. So now, Fatty, you know, hasn't seen her since, but she remembers exactly what she looked like. And Fatty ain't with the shits, and that's why she's my bitch because she ain't with the shits. So, fast forward to the night now that I got threatened. So, I'm at work this night and I'm working with Fatty. Now, I basically never work with Fatty anymore, so I was super excited because I missed working with her and we used to work together. This was a Saturday night, we used to work Saturday nights all the time together. and. Our schedules changed, so we never got to work together anymore. But now I'm working with my sister, so I'm not really that upset. But this night, my sister had something to do, so Fatty ended up working with me. Cool, so we're at work. Regular day, we're chilling. And if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you know that my job is a very, like, relaxed job. There's not that much drama all the time. But things do happen here and there. I mean, it is a bar, so what do you expect? So... This night we're working, it's a regular night, and it's coming towards the end of the night. Now, when it comes towards the end of the night, we get tired, we get aggravated, we just want everybody to get the fuck out so we can go home. All we want to do is collect our money and pass go 
you pick our ass to fuck home. That's what we want to do. But um, Hazel walks in with one, two, three, four, five, either five or six people. So she walks in, and as soon as Fatty sees her, she goes, I'm not serving her. So I was like, all right, cool. Now, my manager that was working that night, which is a close friend of mine as well, knew what happened with the situation. Also, he knows who this girl is because it's my boss's assistant's cousin. Okay. So when she walks in, Fatty says she's not serving her. I am with the shits because I know she's not of age, so I said I'm not serving him. So my manager said he will handle the situation. Now, when he said he will handle the situation, I'm thinking that he wants her to get the fuck out, but no, 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 no. He decides that he's going to serve her. So I was like, okay, cool. You serve her. It's not on us. That's on you. Whatever. Right? So nights goes on. It is literally the end of the night. They are the only group in there. They didn't play beer pong, everything. Now Hazel ends up getting really drunk and she's in the bathroom with her head in the toilet, hugging the toilet as it's as if it is the biggest, fluffiest teddy bear in the world. So her friends are playing beer pong and we let them know, okay, we're shutting down. We turn on the lights. We're like, you guys, it's time to pay so we can get the fuck out of here. So my manager was very nice enough to comp some of the bill. Now, this is where things start to get out of hand. So my manager was nice enough to comp some of the bill. So literally, people, listen to this. The bill was possibly no more than $75. My manager goes, who's paying for the shots? Who's paying for the pictures? Everybody's quiet. Now, I don't know what Hazel told them before they got there. I don't know if she said they don't have to pay for nothing. I don't know if she said that they was getting shit for free. But honey, you do not work here. You do not even work for my boss anymore. And you are not even the assistant. You're the assistant's cousin. So honey, pump the brakes. You are nobody. So when we said that they had to pay the bill, everybody gets silent. Now, we're going to call this person Bipolar. So, Bipolar goes that he will pay for the pictures because he didn't take any shots. So, he'll pay for the pictures. Now, the pictures came up to about $35. I remember that because he did not tip. Swiped the card, went through, signed the paper, went about his business. Now, there was another $35 to $38, bucks, okay, that had to be paid. Now, everybody else is looking at the sky as if the money's going to fall from the sky. As if there's a money tree hanging above their head and there's 35 to 34 dollars 35 to 34 35 to 40 dollars about to fall from somewhere okay so mighty mouse that's what we gonna call this person this young man mighty mouse is looking at his friend asking his friend basically to pay the bill so i'm getting annoyed because i'm like okay it, why is it taking damn near an hour for you guys to figure out who's going to pay a $38 bill between six or seven people. That does not make any sense to me and I'm aggravated now. So because I know my temper and my attitude, I said to my coworker, Fatty, so I will, I'm going to go drop something in the back. I ain't got time for this. That's what I said to her. Mighty Mouse, broke ass Mighty Mouse, was like, Yeah, you go to the back. So, knowing my temper, I turned and I just stared at him. I said not a word. Okay. Bipolar said to Mighty Mouse. Yo, I don't think you want to fuck with her. Like, this is not the right time to be saying anything. So, I said, listen to your man because he's right. And I walk, I start walking off again. He's like, yo, I'm not afraid of you. Turn back to Mighty Mouse. And I said... I don't want you to be afraid. I just want you to be aware. That's all I said. Went to the back, dropped my shit off. I come back and they are arguing with my manager. I literally just dropped something in the back and I came back to the front. So it's literally less than two minutes and they're arguing with my manager over $38. Broke. So one kid out of the whole group, he was really cool. He paid way before this so whatever he ordered he paid for one about his business he even showed me id okay shout out to you if you ever see this video i don't even know his name but tall boy thank you for not being like your friend okay 
and he was drunk on top of that and still not acting like his mom. Oh, now they're arguing with my manager. They're telling my manager just won the card. Come to find out, Mighty Mouse went into Hazel's bag, stole her credit card, and was charging her credit card for the shots. So they're arguing, 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 telling my manager, yo, just swept the card, this, this, that. It's just a whole bunch of commotion going on. And while the commotion's going on, I step outside of the bar. Because the way my bar is set up, there's only one entrance, um, entrance and exit into the bar. And my manager was behind the bar, and they, they're on the opposite side of the counter. So I came outside because I'm like, if anybody thinks they're going to grab him, which... I shouldn't have to think about think this way but the way I where I work at some people are nuts so I have to think this way I have to be on my toes so I was like if anybody grabs him I'm able to run around and you know we gonna have to do what the fuck we gonna have to do feel me so I'm arguing with him and I'm just sitting there and my manager's like all right fuck it he gonna keep arguing with them but he gonna swipe the card so they're arguing still yelling 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 but it's only mighty mouse and bipolar yelling okay Hayes was still in the bathroom vomiting her fucking brains out and the rest of her friends are just standing off to the side just watching my manager swipes the card and while they're yelling my manager just yells out and the cards declined. I kid you not when he said that you could hear a fucking pin drop okay it got so quiet <laughs> when it got that quiet Fatty couldn't hold it in, so she started to giggle. So now Bipolar is upset again. He's like, Oh, fuck that. I'm an iron worker. I make over 100k a year. Um, swipe my card and tip them $50 since they think it's a joke. So all we said was, We don't want your money. All we want you to do is pay the bill and get out so we can go home. That's all we want. Why is this taking almost an hour just to do? Like, why is this taking so long? I could have been home so finally um bipolar pays the bill after arguing for another 20 minutes i kid you not this argument went on for two hours almost probably three time ran off hazel finally comes out and she's stumbling she goes to the end of the bar and she's like hey why are you guys doing this you know I ain't no rob like this shut the fuck up so <laughs> Um, Mighty Mouse, I come around to the bar and Mighty Mouse is, I'm standing there while he's talking to my manager, mind you. I'm staring at him because he has the most mouth and he's the smallest one of the group. Pump your brakes, little one. Pump it. It's like, oh, it's this, that. Y'all don't know who I'm from. Y'all don't know where I'm from. Y'all don't know who I am. Blah, 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 blah. There's nothing to argue about. I don't like arguing. My voice is not that big. Like, okay, so I'm staring at him and he's like, if she's staring at me, it's if she gonna do something, I slap bitches. I just literally, they were so funny to me that I could not take them serious. I literally started laughing like in his face. And then I was like, you know what, why am I entertaining this? So after a while, I just walked away and I went back to the back and I sat down again because my manager was behind the bar. They're across the other side of the counter and if anything goes down, I gotta be prepared. Correct? Correct. Um, bipolar comes down to the end of the bar and he's like, yo, can I talk to you for a second? So I was like, what's up? So he goes, oh, I know you from the hood and da 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 and you don't gotta act like that and this, this, that. Now, while I'm listening to him speak, I was just like, who the fuck told you I was from the hood? Because I never told you that. So where are you getting your theory from? Is it because I am the only black person? Not the only person. I mean, my manager's black, but the only black person that is staff, do you think that I am from the hood? Or because you guys are pushing my buttons and I'm showing you that I ain't about the shit, y'all think that I'm from the hood. Whatever. So then he says to me, Yeah, I got a nine in the car, but I'm not threatening though. But I'm not trying to pop that shit like I could have been popped it. Okay whatever he's like oh, i know you from the hood i'm not listening to nothing he's saying because all he's doing is ranting and i just walk back over to my manager to ask him like can we go now like can we count our money so my manager was like yeah 
So my emails again, thinking that I'm supposed to be afraid of him because he's a man. While my, mind you, my boyfriend was here. That's the funny part. My boyfriend was there at the end of the bar, just sitting there waiting. He goes, "Oh, well, you're the manager, right? Why would you hire somebody like that? You need to hire somebody. You need to fire somebody like that." So I went to him and I put my hand back in his face and I was like, "But are you the manager, though?" <gasps> okay then, and I went about my business. So finally the group leaves and the only, like I'm fast forwarding, finally the group leaves and the only people that are inside the restaurant other than my staff, which was the dishwasher, the cook, my manager, um, me, Fatty, and my boyfriend. That's what, who was left inside the restaurant. Hazel and Bipolar was still inside the restaurant. Now, in between this, um, Fatty was going back and forth with Hazel here and there, but it was nothing that serious. So I go back behind the bar I'm telling my manager like okay let's go like i'm sick of this it makes no sense just get them the fuck out like why are you entertaining them i just want to go home so when i go over there to talk to my manager hazel goes yeah i know you're from the hood and blah blah, blah. so i'm like who the fuck told you this did i tell you this because i've never said anything to y'all about me being from the hood because i would never sit here and have a conversation with you guys about where the fuck i'm from that does not matter so my manager goes, I told them that you're from Fall Out Boy, and that's why you are the way you are. No. I am the way I am because nobody's going to talk to me any way they feel like and think they're going to get away with it. Like, no. No. I was like, okay, but this is not the hood. She's still yelling above me. So I'm like, this is not the hood. This is not the hood. I'm speaking regular. So I'm getting frustrated because her voice is getting above mine. So I go around close to where she's standing up with my hand in her face. I was like, yo, just get the fuck out because I'm not playing. She's still going. So I was like, all right, you keep talking and I'm going to slap the shit out. Bipolar is saying absolutely nothing but, yo, listen to me. Yo, listen to me. Yo, shorty, listen to me. I'm not listening to you because she's asking for me to slap this crap out of her. So you stay over there while I almost grab her across the stuff. Shut up. When that happens, he's like, yo, fuck that. You want to get crazy? Get crazy. Who your man? Get crazy. So while he's yelling... And he's saying, get your man. I walk towards my man. You on the outside of the bar, so is my man. So I walk towards my man. And I literally stood right next to my man. And I did just like this. Laughing at him. Now, where he is, he is halfway to the point of where my boyfriend is. Yelling and screaming. Acting like a child. Talking about son. Oh, I fuck you up. I fuck your man up. Tell your boyfriend come outside. Now, my thoughts in my head is... You have nothing but space and opportunity, boy, because ain't nobody else in here but us. So what he coming outside for? For the cops to come arrest him? No, my boyfriend's a dialysis technician. He get arrested, he's losing his job. You're done. So we sitting there just watching him rent and rave. And he's like, you know what, fuck that. I'm going to blow this job up. I'm going to kill all of y'all. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Then he said, bitch, I'm going to kill you and your family. Or I busted out laughing. I could not help myself. You killing me and my what? Finally, everything ended. Hazel walks out the door. They go home. I have not seen them since. It's been almost a month since this happened. So yeah, that's the story about the time the person that threatened to kill me and my family. Hope you guys enjoy this story time. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow me on all social medias. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video.